And now, back to our story. While Nick Carter was attempting to find a clue to the killer of George Brennan by searching through Krylov's abandoned greenhouses, he was struck down by a blow from behind. For a moment, he lies almost unconscious. Then, as the pain in his throbbing head subsides slightly, he becomes aware that someone is standing over him with a flashlight. Cautiously, Nick gathers himself together, and as the flash turns a little to one side, he springs to his assailant. All right, you. I, 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 oh. Thought you could get rid of me like that, did you? Oh, Lord, where's my flashlight? Now, oh, here it is. Now, let's have a look at... Well, well, you again. And you're a very beautiful young woman, aren't you? <laughs> and plenty husky, too. I wonder what... Uh, I guess... Uh, well, coming out of it, are you? I... What? Who? All right, all right. Oh. Take it easy. What? Sorry I hit you so hard. But uh, I felt too weak to struggle with you after you hit me in the head as hard as you did. Where... Where am I? Wouldn't have any idea, would you? Wouldn't remember that these are Krylov's old greenhouses, huh? Krylov? I, I, I don't understand. No, I... neither do I. What was the idea of sneaking up at me in the dark and slugging me the way you did? I... I didn't do that. Oh, no? Then may I ask what you're doing here? May... May I stand up, please? I, I'm not comfortable here on the ground. All right. <laughs> but don't try anything. And, lady, I want the truth from you, and I mean to get it. I'm very curious to know what you were doing at Miller's house earlier this evening. And why did you follow me out here? I didn't follow you. I was walking by here on my way home, and I saw a man run out from here and get into a car parked by the curb. Then he, he drove away like a crazy man. It made me curious, so I came into the lot here to see what was he was what he was doing. I I found you lying on the ground. I was looking around when you suddenly jumped at me and oh my jaw. I'm afraid you'll have to tell a better story than that if you want me to believe but it. But it's the truth. Why won't you believe me? Listen, lady, I was walking along, minding my own business a few minutes ago, when somebody slipped up behind me and hit me a crack in the back of the head. When I came to, you were standing over me. And you're certainly strong enough to have done it. But I didn't. It must have been the man I saw running away. Oh, yes, to be sure. You said that before, didn't you? Pardon me for forgetting. What's your name? Anna. Anna Swenson. Anna Swenson. And where do you come from? Look out behind you. I... What? Ah! Oh, what the deuce. Are you a little... Stop or I'll shoot. Nick. Nick, what in heaven's name is going on here? Oh, good Lord. Oh. I'm not quite sure, Patsy, but I do know that dumb... Uh. I just fell for the oldest trick in the crook's library. When I turned to see who was behind me, she pushed me over, knocked my flash out of my hand and got away. Who got away? That woman. What woman? I don't know whether she was the one who knocked me out or not, but she's certainly mixed up in this somewhere. She didn't appear in the scene just by accident. Well, just who was she, Nick? Said her name was Anna Swenson. Probably isn't. Oh, look, Patsy, see if you can find my hat around anywhere. Yeah. My flashlight broke when she knocked it out of my yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah. Hey, isn't that it right over there? Oh, yeah, thanks. And it... What for? What? Uh, what is it, Nick? Another black rose. Another oh, black on rose? The brim, on the brim of my hat. A black rose on your hat? Yes. Oh. No. You shine your light this way. Yeah. It says, mind your own business. The rose is harmless this time. Next time, it'll be different. Well, I'm glad that Riley showed enough not to try to arrest you for that. Murder, Marjorie. Did he uh, treat you like a lady? Oh, he was very nice to me. As soon as I mentioned your name, he... Oh, so that's the answer. Did Riley learn anything new? No, I don't think so. I told him what I knew, and and then Mr. Miller told him about Krolov. Miller? Mm-hmm. Was he there? Well, yes. He came to Brennan's apartment just as we were getting ready to leave. He was all out of breath, as if he'd been hurrying. He said you'd been to see him and had told him what had happened to Brennan. And he told us he'd received the black rose, too. Did you learn anything from him? No, no, no. Only a few details about Krylov. Tell me, Marjorie. Did 
Try to walk half a wife or a sister, you know? I don't know, Mr. Carter. Why? Oh, just a crazy idea running around on my parade. Oh. Well, have you any idea who killed Mr. Brennan yet? I, I think so. And I'm not telling yet. Just a little more information, and then I think I can finally decide who murdered it was. Now, Audrey, is you know, did Mr. Brennan or Mr. Miller ever say anything to you about Oh, it's you again, Mr. Cotter. Yes, Mr. Miller. I I just dropped by to ask you to answer another question or two. I've got an idea about this Black Rose business, and I think that maybe you can help me. Of course, of course. Come, come in, both of you, both of you. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Miller, you can put down that pistol before it hurts somebody. I'm not going to attack you, and neither is Miss Bowen. No, 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 of course not, but it's just that I feel uh, rather nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps Krylov might try to force force his way in here when he finds his poison rose didn't kill me, so I, I've just been sitting here in the dark with my gun. Mr. Miller, do you know whether Krylov had a sister or a wife? Well, he may have had a sister in Chicago. He, he, he wasn't married. I'm sure. Why? Well, when I was in the old greenhouses a little while ago, I ran into a rather solidly built female under rather peculiar circumstances. I believe she was Russian had a very slight accent. She got away from me, but before she left, she told me that her name was Anna Swenson. Anna Swenson? Did, did, you, did you say Anna Swenson? Yes, that's the name she gave me. But, 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 but she's... She's... That, that's my... That's right. Uh, yes, she's your housekeeper. And she's got a gun. Yeah, so I see. Yes, I have a gun. And I know how to use it. But, but Anna, what in the... Shut up. You talk when I say so. Your name is not really Anna Swenson, is it? No, you are right. You have guessed correctly. It was hardly a guess. There'd be no other possible answer. You must be Krylov's sister. My sister, heaven, you... Yes, you. yes, his sister. My name is Nanya Krylov. And stop waving that pistol around like that. Drop it on the floor. Oh, all right, all right. That's better. You here in my house all the time, waiting and watching and spying on me, plotting our deaths with him. Kryloff didn't plot anybody's death with her, Mr. Miller. Kryloff hasn't been near his greenhouses since he left it two years ago. I found where a black rose plant had been dug up. But whoever dug it up found it by accident and thought up the scheme because he found the rose. If Krylov had been out there, the ground would have been cultivated at least around, around the black rose bush, which he'd experimented with for so long a time. But the ground where it was dug up was like a rock. You are right. Ivan, my brother, is dead. He committed suicide. But those two who foreclosed on his greenhouses are responsible for his death. Brennan and Miller killed Ivan just as surely as if they had pulled the trigger on the gun with which he ended his life. It was after that that I came here and became Mr. Miller's housekeeper. I wanted revenge for my brother's death. And all this time you've been watching and waiting and until the time was ripe to kill George and me. Well, you killed George, but you haven't killed me. And you're Don't not... Don't try to pick up your gun, Mr. Miller or I shall kill you right now with the greatest pleasure. Oh, all right, all right. Anna, or rather Nanya, you said it was not you who hit me when I was searching the greenhouses tonight. Can you prove it? I don't know. How could I prove it? As I fell, almost unconscious from that blow on my head, I reached out to get hold of something, and my hand grasped an ankle. I tried to hold on to it, but my assailant hit me again, and I had to let go. But in the struggle, my ring scratched that.